Happy New Year, everybody. Um, you know, my, my last video was way too long, so I'm just going to cut right to the chase here. Uh, I have my Fork Crown A in the mill, ready to uh, slit <clears throat> the uh, binder bolt. I just went through this and I, I thought I had everything set up. I don't know what the hell happened, but it was offset a little bit, made a little bit of a mistake. I didn't go far. It's not irreparable, so I'm not, um, I'm not tripping. But uh, at any rate, I'm ready to make the first operation here, and I've got everything in my Rotex mill. Uh, this baby was made in Point Richmond, Point, not Point Richmond, California, which is near Berkeley, pretty near where I live now. Originally, I thought, um, well, hey, I'll do all my slitting operations on this hardened mill. This has a horizontal milling attachment. Uh, this is a beautiful machine. Um, it seems a shame to set this up as a dedicated <clears throat> slitting operation. So I moved my tube mitering from here, which this is kind of a smaller mill. Move my tube mitering from here. I'm going to move it over here. That way, this is kind of more versatile. And then this I can do, I got a bunch of attachments for this, so I can do all kinds of things. So anyway, I think it's a better setup. And so right now I'm about to do the first slitting operation that is not a mistake. Uh, and we'll see where that goes. But um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I guess the only thing left is to press, press play and, and do it, right? All right, so there we go. Let me get my safety glasses on. I will zoom us in a little bit, pardon the motion. There we are. We're going to do it. That's it. Uh, it worked. Seems to have worked. Okay. Here's round two. Ready to go. I think it's okay. I think everything's cool. Um, I'm always hesitant to press play, but we're just going to do it. Let me back up here. Wow, so there it is. Let me uh, zoom us in. I should have zoomed you in before, geez. Bad host. So that's the setup right there. Um, This is my Rotex mill. There's kind of a, there's a big shot of it. I should say it's our Rotex mill. 
because you're welcome to use it anytime you want. I don't lay sort of, I mean, who can own one of these, right? Anyway, it's a beauty. It, uh, it's got a big old motor on it. Look at that guy, three phase. I have it wired uh, to single phase, but 110. Um, it's got a, what is it, a brown and sharp um, taper. And gosh, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. Came with this Wilton vise. I mean, that vise alone is like 600 bucks retail. Um, so anyway, there's our setup. And there she is, all perfectly slit. So I'll clean these up, and then I'll um, we'll do a little recap, and uh, I'll let you take a look at detail about what I did. I'll show you my mistake. We are back. So can you see that? That is just about perfection. I mean, I got the bolts in there. Um, Oh yeah, perfectly even. You just you just can't do that with a hacksaw. Let's see if I can really. I, I could have done this with a hacksaw. It would have been way faster. I'd have been done, you know, lickety split, and we'd be moving on. But it's important to me to be repetitive and my goal for this new year is to have everything automated, or not automated, but uh, systematized is what I want. And if I can, now I have this process systematized and it's not going to take me any time at all. So my goal is a frame in a day, and that is a lofty goal. Uh, it's said that a good man can build a good frame in one day, and I've had yet to come even remotely close to that. The good man part, right? Um, no, I, I've yet to come close to that. I would love to do it. I mentioned in one of my blog posts, uh, on Instagram that, uh, I went to visit Rob English about four years ago, five years ago or something up in, um, up in Eugene. And he really was touting the Toyota system. He had the Toyota manufacturing book with him and he was like, Hey, you got to read this book. I haven't read the book, Rob, but. I have taken the philosophy to heart, which is why I have all my tools out on the wall here. Nothing in drawers anymore. I mean, I do have drawers, but all the tools are out. I mentioned earlier that sometimes I'll, I'll come up with a way to do something and I'll even have a jig made for it. And then it disappears into a drawer and I don't even remember it's there. And, and I come up with a whole new way, you know, sometime afterwards. So that's going to end and i'm going to get everything up on the bench and you know i have all these anvil fork uh, there's the fork blade bender fixture and you know i have other anvil tools that is going to make my life there's some little braze on boss doohickeys going to make my life a lot faster and easier and um, make my bikes that much more precise and better um, more importantly i can spend time on other stuff besides building because Building's great, but geez, man. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so the next video we are, by the way, Happy New Year. I'm sure I've said that before, but geez, man, Happy New Year. We're in the final hours of 2017. And um, you know, it's uh, it's been an interesting year, that's for sure for everybody. I'm sure we all have our stories. Uh, I know I have mine, and uh, this next year is going to be just epic. You know, the year is what you make of it, so make it epic. Uh, so you see, we have this thing clamped into the steer tube. This could be this is steel right now, but it could be aluminum, it could be carbon fiber, or whatever it is. Um, so I'm going to clamp that in the mill tomorrow, and we're going to mill. We are going to do some miters and miter that in and get all that. Uh, Cooking. Now that this is on the steer tube, I'm going to clamp this in the mill. I'm going to take a big radius out of that and and bring the bring this up to a couple millimeter tolerances here. That way we have the most maximum clearance and the maximum, you know, strength. Uh, and the what we what we're going for is the 
smallest crown height possible, you know, and still retain all the strength and integrity of the fork. So that's what we're going for. Um, there's no sense in having a tall ass crown, right? So with that said, uh, Happy New Year, everyone. We'll, uh, we'll see you next year.